Welcome to Cassidra Cooks. I'm Cassidra, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make ribs. Okay, I have some pork spare ribs, and I have beef ribs. It's the beef ribs for me. Now, I already didn't wash my ribs and dry them, pat it dry with paper towel. So what you want to do is remove all the excess fat from your ribs. It's up to you if you want to keep them on. I mean, it's up to you. It's your food. And I'm using kitchen shears just to remove some of the fat. Won't be needing none of that. Okay. I'm going to do the other one. Okay, everything's good to go. So now you get your olive oil and rub it on. Your ribs. And for the ingredients, Please check the description box. Below. And this is my rib rub, but you could use your favorite rib rub. And you want to season, season, season. And it's better when you let your meat sit overnight with the seasoning. Gives better, way better flavor. And if you want to purchase some of my rib rub, please email me. Okay, next we have our liquid smoke. This give it the smoky flavor. Once you start using this, you're going to be so spoiled on it. Okay. Now our pork ribs is ready to go. So now let's work on the beef. Okay. Now that we have our ribs all seasoned and ready to go, it is time to move on outside to the grill. And for you beginners, I am going to show you how to start a grill. So let's go outside. Okay. Now what you want to do is get your favorite bag of charcoal. I'm using the Kingford's matching light. And pour your using a grill lighter just want to mm. 
light your charcoals. And the wind is blowing, so it's hard for me to... You can also use paper, like I'm doing. Careful not to burn yourself. Okay, when your charcoal begins to look like this, it is ready. So what you wanna do now is close the top to the grill to smother the fire out. And I like to lay my meat at a diagonal. Okay, now we're gonna let the rib cook for about a half an hour and then we're gonna flip it. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. So now, just wanna give it a good flip. And we're going to come back again in 30 minutes. Okay, it's time for the flip. Looking real good. Okay, now our rib is done. So what we're going to do now is remove it from the grill and let it rest before we cut into it. Okay, here is our rib. So now we're gonna cut into it. I just wanna turn it around so y'all can see how juicy that is. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to turn a couple of pieces of the spare ribs into rib tips. That's all you're doing, it's cutting off. Look at that. that And here's the finished product to the ribs. Look at that. That is a yes guy for me. You guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching Concedra Cooks.